Hello everybody, my name is Patrick O'Day. I'm a developer relations engineer at Storyblock. I'm really excited to be speaking at the React Advanced London 2023. Today, I'm going to be speaking on React code reviews in open source, ensuring quality and collaboration. Before I get deep into this topic, we first of all have to understand what open source is. Simply put, open source refers to a software development approach where the code of a software is made available to the public. Basically, when you have an open source software, it's free to use and people can choose to contribute to this software also. Now, as a fun fact, React is an open source project. What are the significance of open source? Accessibility and inclusivity. Now, on an open source project, anyone can contribute irrespective of gender, race or abilities. Collaborative development. In open source, we encourage collaboration, also rapid innovation. When you are coding or contributing to um, open source softwares, you always meet innovation and ideas from fellow contributors. We see transparency and trust. In open source uh, contributions, there are, there's always transparency because you can actually look at the code and tell if there's any malicious um, code in there. So there's always trust and transparency. Now we talk about code reviews. What is code review? Code review is a collaborative process in software development where one or more developers evaluate the source code written by another developer. Now we're going to look at how code reviews work. The first step would be submission by the contributor. Now, when the contributor submits a particular code or a PR, there's always a request for review by the reviewer or the maintainer of the open source project. Now, this would undergo evaluation, which would now return um, feedback to the contributor. If necessary, there would be discussion, but um, after that, there's an approval. If everything goes well, then the code or the commit is being merged into the actual repo. Now we are going to look at the challenges in open source code reviews. The first is language barriers. Now this is really common because in an open source project, you have different persons from different parts of the world with different languages contributing. So communication might be an issue. <clears throat> Documentation. Different persons are committing to a particular open source project. So since there are new features, there are always changes in the documentation, and this can be a hassle for the documentation team managing a particular open source project. Look at review backlog. This goes to the reviewers because there are many PRs that come with um, a popular open source project. For example, React, you have a lot of PRs there that are being looked at by the reviewers, and this takes a lot of time and can be a hassle or pain. Now we look at best practices for effective code reviews. The first is having clear objectives. It's also good or it's important to define the goals and expectations of the code review, such as finding bugs or improving the code quality in this particular sprint review. Now review the code and not the person. This is very important because uh, we have to focus on the code as a reviewer and not the author. So we keep feedback cons constructive and also respect and emphasize on improvements rather than criticism. We look at the use of code review tools. Now it's important to leverage code review tools that streamlines the process, making it easier to track changes and discussion. So we're going to look at those tools in the next slide. So as you can see from the GIF here, you already know because most of them are, or all of them are popular. The first was Linters. Now, the most popular linter I know, or we all know, is ESLint. So what's the use of the linter? Linter scan for code um, issues such as syntax error, style violation, and potential bugs. Also, we can leverage the use of code review platforms like GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket. And these tools provide um, built-in code review tools or features, and you can integrate them with other tools. For continuous integration, we can leverage the tools like um, CI, uh, Circle CI, Travis, and Jenkins, and this can automatically run tents, tests and linters. Now, measuring success. How do we measure success in open source code reviews? Now, you can use some KPIs or some key metrics. I'll just leave one here. So, for code review and completion time, if you have a high number of devs actively participating in a code review, there will be shorter amount of time for that particular code review. So the higher number of devs reviewing a particular code, the better. Let's get it done together. So in a nutshell, React code reviews are the source that makes open source project thrive. So 
why wait join the real code review revolution today let's create a little bit of magic thank you